Hey harmonizers. Here's a little look at some of the fun that we've been having over the last few days here. We are filming for a new Harmony Horsemanship app that's coming out. So I've been filming a ton of different tasks and ideas. I thought I'd share with you guys some of the more higher level tasks that are a little bit more difficult and kind of showing some of the things that my horses have been progressing on, giving you guys a few ideas of some challenges you can try. So this here is doing a bridalist gate, which is a little bit tricky because uh, you're shifting your weight and you're all over the place and kind of combining a bunch of uh, bridalist cues. Here's a really fun one to try. This is uh, covering your horse with a tarp, which is just a really great confidence building exercise and kind of testing your horse's trust with you and also their ability to kind of handle crinkly things and also things covering their head and stuff like that. Just kind of a fun one to give it a go. You can see little Lissy is happy to get her cookie there. Here's little Elon. He's been working on doing um, some drags. We did a little bit of doing some drag work. So here's little Elon dragging a bucket. A very easy way to make yourself a drag is to use a lead rope and just attach a bucket just like this. It uh, has enough drag and weight that the rope is going to tail behind you pretty easily. And it uh, makes a little bit of noise too, which is fun for horse training. But it's not too heavy. It's very easy to move around and kind of use with your horse. It's just kind of an easy way to give that a go. And we do turns going with the bucket on the inside and then turns on the outside, which is a little bit more tri tricky because the rope is actually going against the horse's hind end there as they're going around the turn. Here's another really fun challenge is can you blindfold your horse and get them to walk or trot beside you, which it's important to make sure you guide them with the halter and the rope as you do this because they can't see and they need to know where you are to help them understand uh, what it is that you're asking them to do. So here I've got her, I've got Lissy blindfolded and I'm asking her to trot with me and she's trusting me, which is fantastic. You never know when you might be in a situation where you need to do something like this. Maybe your horse has an eye injury. Maybe you're in a fire situation. You never know what's going to happen. And it's just kind of a neat trust building activity. Here's a little look at Lissy going to show you guys doing a bit of a stretch. So this is called downward horse. It's kind of like downward dog for, uh, that we do for people, but we're going to do downward horse because it's a horse and I'm just using a cookie to tease Lissy back and asking her to stretch her back and come down into a downward horse position. It can be a fun little one to try. Here's Lissy showing you guys some swing shoulders. We've been working on getting this a little bit more animated and playful. Who knows? We might show it off during our performance at Horse World Expo. I'm not really sure what we're going to include in there yet. We haven't put together our whole routine yet for the expo, but it's kind of a fun one to, to show a little bit of what she can do. Here's a look at a spin exercise. You can kind of see how Lissy's starting to do a little bit of that planting her inside hoof there really nicely. Um, pretty awesome because we, we don't do a lot of work with that kind of stuff. Here's a little look at some more of her Liberty work. We did a bunch of Liberty stuff. I was really happy to see how well she's doing her Liberty considering that we, uh, you know, I go away for a week here and there down in Florida. Like I'm not super focused on my horses. I play with them just a, a couple times a week and sometimes I ride, sometimes we play at Liberty and she stuck with me for, we probably did about an hour of filming and just at Liberty, the entire time of an hour of filming, of doing all these different tasks as part of this new app that we're filming. So she was a total superstar offering me all sorts of amazing stuff. Here we're working on some canter transitions, trying to show some halt and some canner and just working on getting those more precise. And there she does a really nice one, really nice take off into the canner and then a transition down into the halt. Really super awesome to start to build up a little bit of that precision, a really fun little challenge to give a try to. <laughs> She's being cute, kind of looking at the dirt there. And then here's a little look at making those transitions more on a circle, which is a little bit easier because then you don't have to run as much, which is a little, a little easier to work on those 
transitions. You see she's doing them really nicely there. Definitely cookie worthy, I think. <laughs> we had a, a lot of fun filming a lot of these activities. Here's another little fun challenge. And the levels for the app are going to start down at the basics with level one, some really simple, easy tasks, and then get into some things that are a little bit higher level, like what we're doing here with the trot circles or how he's doing the trot halt circles. Here's a little one showing the trot halt transition. So kind of showing you guys progressions from trot halt to canter halt and really helping people kind of move up through levels of horsemanship, showing you guys what are kind of the steps that you need to take to kind of build up to those big progressions. Here's little Elon working on a ground tie, starting to build up some distance in that ground tie to be able to go further and further away from him. And if he makes a little mistake, here's a little tip. You can just politely guide your horse back to where they're supposed to be. It's kind of a balance of offering that correction, but not being mean about it or being too assertive that you're going to cause the horse to want to leave. You just want to show them what it is you're asking them to do and then offering that reward when they get the answer right. And then lastly, here's another fun one with Lissy, a confidence building task, which is opening an umbrella while over top of your horse or mounted with your horse. So this was pretty fun to see her reaction and kind of test this out a little bit with the umbrella. I always love bringing the colored umbrellas out with the horses. I think it just looks really, really neat and gives such a sharp contrast when we get photos taken with the colorful umbrellas. I think they're a super fun little prop. You can ride around with some sunshade. It looks he's kind of looking back like, okay, like, you know, do I get a cookie for this? She doesn't seem too bothered by it. She's definitely aware that I'm doing something, but she's not overly upset by it. She's really quite a superstar when it comes to obstacles and objects and things like that. She's pretty trusting of me with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a variety of tasks that we're filming for the new Harmony Horsemanship app.